Well, here it is, my satellite bill over 100 bucks, and I don't even have any premium channels. I've decided to join the ranks of the cable cutters, and that's those of us that are going back to the good old-fashioned terrestrial antenna. And this is my present uh, analog antenna on our condo roof, and this baby was installed way back in 1988, way before digital signals hit the airwaves, and as a result, my reception with this antenna sucks. So. In my nerd glory, I've decided to get a good sample of new generation indoor-outdoor antennas, hook them all up, and find out which antenna works best for me. Unfortunately, I happen to live in a very densely populated area of Los Angeles, so getting good reception has been a real challenge, but I'm going to give this a good shot. For the indoor antennas, I'll be placing them in a window near my TV set in the living room, and for the outdoor antennas, I'll be attaching them to my old satellite TV mast on the roof. The first antenna in the list is a little amplified indoor antenna by Monoprice. It's about the size of a 5x7 photograph. On the back you will notice that it does have a little port you plug in the supplied AC adapter. It's got the coax uh, connection right here for your cable to your TV set. This is what's called the standing leg and that allows you to stand in either this position or you can stand in that position. It also comes with a coax cable. This is about six and a half feet of coax cable. It is the thinnest of all of the coax that came with the antenna, so please take a note of that. Next up is the Mohu Leaf, which is a really popular antenna. It's about nine by eleven and a half inches. Of course, here's the coax connection at the bottom. It's got two different sides. This is uh, the white side, and then it's also got the dark side. It's held to the wall or the window by either using these little tabs here. You can put in the push pins and it also includes some Velcro fasteners that you can fasten it to the window with. You also can paint this if you want to. So it comes, the accessories that it comes with is about 10 feet of uh, coax cable, which is fairly decent. And it comes with the push pins and the Velcro tabs to attach it to the window. This is another small antenna, and this one's made by HD Frequency. It's called the Cable Cutter Mini, and it's about roughly the same size as the Monoprice that I showed you, about 5.5 inches by 8 inches. It's made here in the U.S., and they haven't scrimped on the components. It's got some nice thick wire going to the coax connection, and they've used some heat shrink tubing going to the critical connections of the antenna. It does come with some what I call glue dots, which help you to adhere it to the window or to a wall during the installation. It comes also with uh, an instruction little pamphlet that uh, helps you to install it correctly. And it also comes with some pretty high quality coax cable. This is, um, I think, called RG6, which is probably the thickest cable that you can get a hold of. I think it's around 10 to 12 feet, and it's pretty useful for the installation. Here's the largest of the indoor-outdoor antennas. This is by Antennas Direct. It's called the Clearstream 2. It's a really popular antenna. The measurements are about 20 inches high and about 12 inches wide. It comes in three different pieces in the box and you do have to assemble it, but it's not a difficult uh, installation. If you turn it over, you'll see one nice feature that I really liked was that it comes with a clamp to clamp on to an antenna mast. Now, I already have an existing mast, but if you don't, you're going to have to go ahead and purchase one. It does not come with a mast. It also doesn't come with any coax cable, so you'll have to purchase that separately. It does come with a waterproof boot to put onto the end of the uh, coax cable to keep that nice and dry. So again, this is a really popular antenna. I'm not quite sure that I would install this indoors. It's not quite uh, small enough for an indoor antenna, but maybe in an attic or a space that uh, people aren't going to see and they're not going to use. Well, this is the big brother to the mini cable cutter by HD Frequency. This is called just the cable cutter. It's 20 inches square. It is an indoor-outdoor antenna. You can use it indoors as well. It's got the same nice coax setup with the nice thick wires going to um, mounting on the frame with the heat shrink tubing so there's no corrosion from being outside. It does have two mounting holes that you can uh, mount this antenna to an outdoor antenna mast. It does not come with an antenna mast. It does come with a hook that will enable you to hook it to your window or to a wall if you want to use it indoors. Also comes with a weatherproof uh, boot if you're using it outdoors. It comes with a little instruction card to show you how to inst uh, install it. And it comes with some nice uh, 12 feet of 
RG6U, which is a nice thick coax cable, probably the best quality out of all the antennas. Hooking up your television set to the antennas is actually pretty simple. What you'll do is you'll find the coax connection in the back of your TV set, hook up your coax cable from your antenna to the back of the TV. And in my particular case, there was a menu button on my remote, and when I pressed menu, it brought up a little sub menu on the screen. I go down to settings, and then I'll go down and try to find where the antenna, there's the antenna. It's already set on antenna. You usually have a cable setting and an antenna setting. Make sure it's on antenna. And then I'll go down to what's called auto program, which will automatically find the stations that my antenna can receive. Just press OK, let it go. And then when it's done, you'll be watching live TV on your brand new antenna. Okay, so I did a channel scan with every single one of the antennas, and here's the results from worst to best. Coming in last place was my 1988 terrestrial antenna with only 45 channels found. Next was the Mohu Leaf with 70 channels, although signal strength was excellent on most all of them. The model price uh, came in next at 83 channels found, although spotty reception on a good deal of those channels. Next comes the HD Frequency Mini Cable Cutter Indoor Antenna with 101. Pretty good reception on most of the stations. Next comes the HD Frequency Large Indoor-Outdoor Antenna called the Cable Cutter. 146 channels found. Now both indoors and outdoors it found the exact same amount of stations. The indoor uh, reception not quite as good as the outdoor. Next comes the Clearstream 2 by Antennas Direct. It also found 146 channels, both indoors and outdoors, but the reception indoors was not as good as the HD frequency indoor-outdoor antenna, so it dropped off a little bit inside. Okay, final thoughts. I'm actually using the HD frequency cable cutter, which is the larger outdoor antenna. It seemed to work better for me. Of the indoor antennas, it was pretty much a tie between the Mohu Leaf and the HD Frequency Mini Cable Cutter. The Mini Cable Cutter by HD Frequency did find more stations, but I found that the signal strength was around the same between that and the Mohu Leaf, and so it really depends upon um, how much you want to spend and what area you live in, because uh, one may receive stations a little bit better than the other one. I did kind of like the profile, the small profile that the HD frequency mini cable cutter had in the window, so that was kind of a plus. But really it was kind of a toss-up between those two. Uh, and like I said, the obvious winner with the larger indoor-outdoor antennas was the HD frequency cable cutter. It seemed uh, to have a better signal strength, even though they got the same amount of stations, which was 146, I thought that the uh, HD frequency cable cutter was a little bit more stable as far as signal strength. They're both excellent uh, antennas, and I think you can't go wrong with either one of them. So I hope this uh, little antenna uh, review was helpful to you, and that uh, I wish you the best of luck if you decide that you want to cut the cable and go terrestrial. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.